hello everybody, welcome back to Animal Crossing, that's the show that you're watching right now. I'm somebody who has decided to waste his entire life playing Animal Crossing. Hello, it's good to see you. I can't really see you, but I can imagine that I can see you. I can pretend. I'm pretending right now that I'm looking at you. And oh, you might want to get that checked out, that thing on your face. I, uh... I think you. Well, that's well, that's your face. Oh, e. okay. Well, you still might want to go to the doctor about that thing. I'm just saying, you know, you might want to think about it, cause it looks weird, and you look weird because of it. Is it bad to say that somebody looks weird? I can't believe in today's society, the PC police. Can't say anything anymore. You can't even say somebody looks really weird anymore. You gotta respect your feelings. God, I can't believe this. PC gone mad, you know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. Alright. Let's see. We have a special offer today to study in Regal Valley. As always, we have a wide variety of other items in store. Oh, why don't you come over to my house and stop by? Come to my house. You can look through the windows. I'll pretend not to notice you, but really I of course noticed you. Looking at me through my windows. But I'll pretend that I don't see you. And we'll have a little, a little role play session. Where you're the man outside my window. And I'm the man inside the window. And we'll, we'll have a good time. Please. Don't have many other friends because I keep doing things like this to them. I keep asking them to look through my windows at me. I mean, at nighttime, during the daytime, it's up to you. I don't mind. But so long as you look at me and all of my parts that I have on display, I'm just a, I'm just a normal man. I'm just an innocent man. Oh, well, you could say that I'm some kind of raccoon tanuki. But all I wish is for your lovely eyes to cast themselves upon my delicious body. That's all I ask. Nothing serious. <laughs> That's just a little Tom Nook roleplay right there. Don't you mind Tom? Oh, she wants a bug! I gotta get in. That's what we were trying to do. We were trying to get insects for Mitzi. Remember, I planted all the flowers that I'd done? So we gotta go and get an insect. I would like a ladybird for Mitzi. I think she deserves a ladybird. Out of all the things she deserves, one of them, cash, number two, ladybird. And I like to think that I can accomplish that goal. I think I can get her a ladyboried. Nope. But where to find Un Ladybird? Where is it? Where could he be? He's around here somewhere. And I will find him. I will find the Ladybird. I will trap Ladybird. And I will give Ladybird to Mitzi. I'm going to try this on. He's going to give me that naughty old piece of clothing he was wearing, isn't he? Yep. There it is. Disgusting. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to put it on. I'm going to go and sell it. Billy, you're a habitual disappointment to me. You have never been good. You have never done me any favors. You have always let me down. And I don't like that. I don't like people who let me down. I will let you down. Slowly into a shark tank. The tank is full of sharks. It's not just a shark tank, it's a shark tank that has sharks in it. Okay? Because I could just lower you down into an empty shark tank. Where's the fun? Where's the fun in that? But if there were sharks in the tank, then you would get a bath and you would get to have a fun playtime with all of the sharks. Wouldn't you like that? 1000 bells. Lucky me! I guess it's my birthday. Maybe. Where is Tom? 
Tom. I don't see him. I like Tom. But does Tom like me? Let's roll the dice to find out. Roll a two or a six to see if Tom likes me. Roll a one or a five to see if Tom doesn't like me. Three or four, you have to roll again. Easy. Should I have introduced like fun dice games earlier? 29th of March, sweet. What day is today? Let's find out by standing still. 24th. Okay, wow. I guess I can wait it out. Yeah, yeah, so like, should I have like introduced some like fun dice games into the mix earlier? Would that make people pay more attention to the show? I feel like, and hear me out here people, the thing that would make um, people pay more attention to the show is probably if it was a better show, right? Maybe if it had a better host, but I'm doing the best that I can. What more can I possibly do other than my best? You know? This is all I've got. This is it. It's probably not going to get any better. We'll see. I'm a scam. She called me a scam. I'm always scampering. Mr. Scampy. Oh. Oh, cool. I can go to Mitzi. Yes, I can do that. I like going to Mitzi. I like going to Mitzi's house. I like... I like looking at her through the window. I like it when she sees me through the window. Sometimes she doesn't see me through the window. And I just pretend. Yeah, this is taking a weird turn. I can see why nobody watches this show now. At first I was like, how could nobody watch this show? And then I heard some of the content that I myself said I lied. And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I got it. But then again, also, it's very hard to watch a show that's going to have 300 episodes, right? Dragon Ball Z has like 300 episodes and they fight in that show. They have like a, it's like a whole thing. I don't fight in my show. I don't fight with anybody. So maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need to, to pick a beef with somebody else. You know what I mean? I find that like sometimes that's the easiest way to like get famous on the internet. Yeah, Cause people love drama, right? For some reason, I don't really understand it, but they love that idea of like, oh, this guy's fighting with that guy? Fuck, dude. That's probably good or bad. You know, I don't know. Either one of them. But like, if they're two people you've never heard of anyway, and then they get into a tiff, this tiff gets repeated because these two people are fighting. But if they're people you've never heard of, who cares if they're fighting, right? So if I make a, a YouTube beef with, you know, Paul uh, Williamson. You know, you're like, I don't know who that is. And the answer is exactly, you don't know who that is. Who cares whether or not I have a beef with Paul Williamson, right? For the record, I don't have a beef with Paul Williamson. I think Paul Williamson is actually a really funny YouTuber. He's really good. You should go check his, his stuff out, you know? He does a lot of good videos about... A tap dancing, which I have, I haven't seen a lot of other people do. You know, he's very, very unique in that sense, Paul Williamson. So you know, go support that guy. But if I was having a beef with him, you know, like who, like nobody's gonna be like, oh god, you see what happened between Captain Explody and Paul Williamson? Oh god, one of them tried to drown the other one in a bathtub. It was ridiculous. I can't believe it. You know, and then like um, the more stuff happens. So they're like, oh, you hear know what happened today? Oh, one of them flew a uh, 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 kite into his, the other guy's house. And that doesn't seem like a big deal. And it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal at all. It was a really stupid thing to do. So the other guy, he shot his wife. Unnecessary, but it happened. There's no need for this beef to go on this long, you know? Um, but it does, it just continues, it gets, like, escalating. 
Is, do you think that's what people like about it? Like, it's not so much the drama between two people they've never heard of, but more the fact that, like, it usually kind of escalates. Somebody goes, hey, look at this guy with a stupid face, right? And the other guy's like, what? I'm going to call the police on you. Then the police come to the first guy's house, and then the first guy's like, oh, I can't believe that guy called the police on me. I'm going to have to do something to him. And then, you know, it goes on and on like that. Do you think that's what people are interested in? Like, the, the conflict, the drama? Because I can't imagine they're really that interested in the, in the two people involved in the feud. You know what I mean? That's what I think. So, and then also, like, who really gets, like, who looks good in a feud like that? You know what I mean? I don't really know if there's, like, a, a real purpose to it. Other than to just make a little bit of drama. I don't know why you would want to do that. But that's me. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist. You know, back in my day, people didn't get famous just by having beeps. I don't know how people did get famous. This is beyond me. You know, and not that I'd want to get famous. I just would like it if people watched my show. But then we went over this. I feel like people would watch the show if it was better. You know, and uh, had a better host. So that leaves me quite a quandary. What do I do? How do I find a better host than me? It sounds impossible. That's because I believe it is an impossible task. What else can I do? You know, maybe I should put on an accent. Here we go. I'm going to put on an accent right now. Try to guess what accent I'm about to do. Okay. Put it in the comments. Whoever gets closest wins a fridge. Okay. Maybe. I mean, I'm not... Um, whoever gets closest will win Paul Williamson's fridge. So, leave comments under my videos about what accent I'm about to do. But, if I select you as a winner, then don't uh, talk to me about whether or not you've won the fridge. Talk to Paul Williamson, because it's his fridge. Okay? So you go to his house. Yeah, go to his house. Let's see him. Go to his actual house. Take his... If you are the winner... Go to his house and take his actual fridge away because he doesn't need it. it you're, it's yours now. You want it. Okay? But you have to guess what accent I'm going to do in a moment. And then if you are successful, you in the fridge. Okay? It's easy. It couldn't be easier. Okay, here we go. I'm about to do it. All right, so get ready. Here we go. Here it is. Here. There's no bugs anywhere. This is bullshit. What the fuck? I don't see any ladybirds. I'm in a lot of prancing and dancing around. I'm looking for these ladybirds. I don't see a single ladybird. Maybe if I plant them in like groups. I think that's what I did last time. I haven't done the accent yet. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I mean, it's a, it's a work in progress. You can't just you can't just do an accent. You know, I have to have to to work up to it. No. I want to plant you. Okay, ready? Here we go. So remember, remember the rules? You have to... Um, you have to guess what accent I'm doing. And then if you guess it, you have to talk to Paul Williamson on YouTube. He's not a big YouTuber. He doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers. But like I said, his videos on tap dancing are pretty unique. He can't tap dance himself. I should make that clear. Well, I mean, like, you'll probably see it if you watch his videos. You'll see whether or not he can tap dance. The answer is no. He goes more into, like, the theory of it. You know, the, um... Oh, what's the word for it? But the... <sighs> lore isn't the right word. I don't think there's a whole lot of lore. Now, history... I don't know if history is the right word either. But, like, he, he like... He can break it down really well. The idea of like tap dancing, you know, even though he can't really tap dance himself. Eloise. Okay, I can do that. Yes. Uh, so he can't really do it himself, but like he knows the ins and outs of it. Oh, there's Mitzi. Why are you over here? Hi, Mitzi. It's crazy. Okay. Eloise, what a bitch. That little bitch. She's always been a bitch. Just hanging out. 
on the just hanging. Okay. So where is Eloise? This is her house. No, that's not her house. Her house is up here. This is her. Hello. I find you. It's not night time. Five o'clock is not night time, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go to Spork. Easy. That's one. I don't remember who the videotape was. Um, I'll figure it out. Uh, so this is for Bell, and then I gotta go to Spork for. I can't remember who I'm supposed to go to Spork for. But I guess we'll go talk to Spork. Hello, Spork. That's what he sounds like, even though he's a pig. Because pigs actually make that noise. They actually go rah 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 rah. They don't actually go oink oink. I, you know, people don't know that. But I knew that. That's why I said that loud, like a fact. Okay. Hey, we got a stationer. That's awesome. Okay, so remember the competition. Alright, I want to see lots of comments that talk about. Ooh. Look at that. About the accent I'm about to do. All right, like a lot, because if it's just one guy that comments, that's not much of a competition, you know. Even if he's wrong, I'm just gonna be like, ah, probably not worth it. Hello. Oh, I'm picking up. What's up beside me? Oh, it's a mouse. Okay, thank you, Spork. You're a lovely character, and I will put you in a sandwich. Wait, who is... Let me just... Yes, who is this for? Dora. Are you Dora? Yes! Hooray! Take this videotape. Take it. I found your videotape, Squeaky. I really am amazing. Isn't that the truth? Hey, finally somebody gives me something fucking neat. Piece of furniture. Nobody else is giving me clothes and shit. Don't want that. What is this? A western fence. That doesn't sound very cool. Mm, you know what I mean? Wow, nice western fence you got there in your house right there. And I'm like, well, thank you for noticing. You're a lovely person. That's. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, on we go. All right, so oh, I gotta hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta post these letters. Should I put the deposit in? Mm. Yeah, let's do a little bit. Let's do like, let's do that much. And then tomorrow we'll pay the whole thing off. What episode is today? Uh, 111? And I said to 112 to 115 would be when we pay off the whole debt. I got it right. I got it right. I'm the right guy to get things. That's not the accent yet. I haven't done it yet. Remember, there's like so many countries in the world with like so many different accents. And then like even if you go to a country, they have different like dialects. You know? So I think we'll take that into consideration as well. Because if you go to America, for example, you know, you can do like an American accent, which is very broad, but you can also do like a New York accent or a California accent or, you know, it's kind of like regional or state based, you know, so take that into consideration too. Did we, um, yeah, it has to be accurate. Did we do everything? I think we talked to everybody. I think so. I still can't find a bug for Mitzi though. Is there a bug? No, I don't see a bug. Dang it. I like a bug for Mitzi. I don't like letting Mitzi down. Oh well. On we go. You know, that'll probably do it, right? We'll wrap things up here. Damn. I'll save right here. Hello. And goodbye. Remember, go to Paul Williams's YouTube channel. It's all about tap. He does other videos. It's not all tap dancing. It would be very boring if that's all it was. But I'm, I'm sure he does other stuff. 
I've only seen like two of his videos. Um, I think. So you do whatever you want, okay? And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn there. I don't think he caught it on the on the microphone. I think I'm okay. Anyway, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>